Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these exquisite seed bead earrings with classical colors. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video because in this way uh, you support me and you make me do more and more tutorials. And down there in description you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, but more on this later in the tutorial. Now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads and I'm using silver, white, red and black. The black is not very visible but it's here. Here I'm using earring findings and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. And now if you follow the link in description or the link on the join button, you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And the new thing is that you will see the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. It's a brand new one and it's only for members. So uh, if you decide to join, it's less than five dollars per month and you could start and cancel anytime. Okay, and after this short interruption, I continue. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I will start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle on my mat and now what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and I will make one more knot and now I will go through some beads in this direction. Now I'm going to pick up three white beads and as I'm exiting through one of the blacks, what I'm going to do is to skip one of the black beads and go through the following. So now I have this. Okay, and now I will take three more white beads and I will skip the next one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay. Then I'm taking again three, skip the one that's coming up next and going through the following. And I will continue these guys until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm here at my last step and I'm going through the very first black bead that I started my work from. And now guys, in my next step, I'm going through two of the newly added three whites like this and I'm exiting through the middle of the tree, so the one that's sticking out the most. And now I'm going to take a red, a black, and a red. Okay. And as I'm exiting through one of those white beads, I'm going through the other white.
Okay. Then I'm going to take again a red, a black and a red. And I'm going again through the top white bead, the one that's sticking out the most. And I'll show you again a red, a black, a red. And I go again here through the next one that's sticking out. Okay, and now I'm going to continue this three more times. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I want to go through this red here that is next to the black and I'm going to take three red beads and as I'm exiting through one of the reds I'm skipping the black in the center and I'm going through the next three red, white and red. Okay, this is what I do. Then again, I'm taking three red beads and as I'm exiting through the red one here, this one you see, I'm going to skip the black and with three reds, I go through the red, white and red. Okay, then again, three. I do this. And I'm going to continue this and when I'm ready, I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three red beads from this row. Now, what I want to do is go through two reds in this direction then I skip this one here at the top and I go through the following red and when I pull you see how this one pops out and forms something like an angle it already has an angle but now it's better Okay, so now what I want to take is a black, a silver and a black and I'm going now in the next red here, the one just before the, the top one. And here I skip the top and go through the next one. Just like this, you see what I do. And I pull. Then I take a black, a silver and a black. And I go here through the one just before the angle. Then I skip the angle and go through the following and when I pull it pops out and now I need again a black, a silver and a black and I go here through this one just next to the angle and I'm going to continue these guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now guys, what I'm going to do next is as I'm exiting from this red bead, I'm going to take 
a black, a white and a black. Okay, like this. And I will go here through this silver one. Then again, a black, a white and a black. And I'm going through the red. Then again, a black, a white, and a black. And I go through the silver again. You do this by yourself until the end. Okay, and I'm going to show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, I have a black, a white and a black and I'm going through this red. So I'm connecting the reds and the silver with a black, white, black. So finish this and meet me here. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm connecting my last silver and thread with a black, white, black. And I go like this. Now I'm ready for my next row. And in my next row I'm gonna be connecting the white beads. And I will be connecting the white beads with five whites. Okay? And I have here five white beads and as I'm exiting through one of the whites, I'm going through the other one. Just like this. Then again, I'm going to pick up five white beads. Okay, I have my five here on my needle. And as I'm exiting through one of the white beads, I'm going through the other one. Okay, then again I'm going to pick up five. Okay, five. And as I'm exiting through this white, I'm going in the next white bead. Okay, now guys, I'm going to continue this, adding five between my whites until the end. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go here in this direction through two beads. And I'm going to take three white beads, just like this. And I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I do. And I pull. Then I'm going to take just one black bead. And I go here through the second white counting from the inner corner here. The inner angle. Okay, I'm going through this one which is also next to the one that is sticking out the most. Now I have this. Then I need to pick up three white beads. And I'm skipping the one at the top and I'm going through the next one. Okay, this is what I do. And I pull. Then what I take is that I take just one black bead and I go again through the second one counting from the angle, okay? And I pull. And then I get three whites and I skip the angle and go through the next white. Okay, then again one black 
and go here through this one like we did two times before okay and I'm going to continue this until I reach here this part and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row okay and pay attention where I add it here at this one don't make the mistake to go through this one I did it when I was a beginner and now what I want to do next is go here through this white bead and take three red beads and then I skip the one here at the top and I go through the next white and then in my next step I need two black beads okay two blacks and I'm going in the same place one bead before the one that's sticking out the most okay here is what I have now then I'm going to take three red beads okay skip the one that's sticking out the most here and go through the following and then again I'm going to take two black beads and go in the same place one bead before the top and then I'm going to take three reds and here through the next white okay and I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready with it I will meet you at the other side of my work here if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind and repeat these steps until the end see you in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two black beads okay I'm adding them here at this white you see and I'm pulling then in my next step I'm going here through this red one the first of the three reds and what I want to take are three silver beads and I'm skipping the red that's in the center and I'm going through this red one and in my next step what I want to take is a black a silver and a black so this is what I have and now I'm going through the red here okay this is what I do then again I take three silvers and I go as I exit through the first red I skip the central one and go through the following red and I pull then what I want to do is again a black a silver and a black and I go here in the red one and then I'm going to take three silver beads okay just like this and I go here skipping one of the reds through the other one and now I will show you one more time black silver black okay and I go here through the red okay and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black silver and black and what I want to do is go here through all of those silver beads and as I exit here through this silver 
I want to add four black beads. Okay, I have my four beads here. And I'm going in the next silver. Okay, like this. Then I'm skipping the next two silvers. Like this. And I want to take four more silvers, uh, four more black, sorry. Okay. And I go here in the silver. And now, guys, I'm going to continue these steps, adding four beads between these silvers. And when I finish this row, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. Okay, and after I add them, I'm exiting out of this silver bead that is here, that the one that's sticking out the most or the middle one of the tree. And I'm going to take my earring finding. I will take two black beads, then I will take my earring finding and then I will take two more black beads. Okay, now I have these two earring finding and two and I'm going back here through this silver one, just like this. Then I'm going to reinforce this joint here. And after I reinforce it, I will go here through some beads in this direction. Let's say here after this silver bead. What I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by making a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And then I could repeat this knot several more times. Then when I'm ready with the last knot, I go through the next few beads and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my exquisite seed beads earrings with classical colors are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell. Also like and share this video and comment under it. And in this way you help me so much. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links to all my social networks and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Now you will get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. It is only less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime. So you could check this feature out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.